Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from May the 27th of 2021. Well, it is titled Mid Eclipse and the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, looking out in the sky, we see a couple of things. And mainly to the right, we see a number of images of our moon. Now the moon is our large natural satellite, although we have many artificial satellites that have been put in orbit. And of course, it is one of the objects that has been noticed from the longest times it is very easy to see in the night sky and we watch it go through its series of phases from a thin crescent to a full moon. And just this just yesterday, we did have a full moon. And something that can happen at the time of a full moon is what we call a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes into Earth's shadow and becomes blotted out. And that's actually what we're seeing in the images here. So this is not a crescent moon that we're looking at. This is actually a full moon, but part of the moon is within Earth's shadow. And when we look at that, we can see how it up towards the uh, middle of the image, how more of the moon is illuminated. And as you work your way down towards the horizon, it becomes less and less until it kind of disappears and then reappears in the middle there in the totally eclipsed phase. Now it is to visible when it's totally eclipsed because Earth has an atmosphere and Earth's atmosphere will allow some light to sneak in to Earth's shadow. So our shadow is not completely dark. It is actually slightly illuminated by a dull red light that has snuck around from the sun around the Earth through the atmosphere and into the shadow. So that gives the moon its blood red color during a lunar eclipse. Now were the Earth not having an atmosphere, this would not occur and the moon would simply disappear for a short time and then reappear as it emerges from Earth's shadow. And that's where we're seeing it reemerging down as it goes down towards the horizon and begins to set. And then we start to see the moon coming out of Earth's shadow. So it is all a matter of Earth, Moon and Sun and how they are lined up. So we don't get an eclipse every time we get a full moon because the moon does not always pass into Earth's shadow. The Earth, Moon and Sun have to be lined up in order for this to occur. And the moon's orbit is tilted by about five degrees relative to the plane defined by sun and earth. And that is why most of the time the moon will pass well above or well below earth's shadow, causing us to not see an eclipse every month. So we have we see eclipses about every six months. So we're seeing them here uh, towards the end of May. So we could expect that towards November we will begin to see eclipses as well. Of course, the eclipses are not visible to everyone. And depending on the type of eclipse, some are visible more than others. Uh, this lunar eclipse happened to have been very visible over the Pacific Ocean and parts of East Asia and Western North America where this image was taken. However, the rest of the world did not get to see this eclipse because it occurred while the moon was below the horizon. So we can look forward to future eclipses uh, to see as well both both lunar eclipses such as the one image today and solar eclipses. So that was our picture of the day for May the 27th of 2021. It was titled Mid Eclipse and the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.